TMG fam, it's your boy L and I'm back and it's Friday and we made it. <laughs> Bro, we made it. We made it. Yes, yes, we made it. We made it. It's Friday for us. I don't know about for y'all, but today was my kids last day of school. Yes, it was our last day. Notice I said our last day of school is ours. We completed that that year together, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Queen Ryan here running around crazy right now. And she felt like she went through that school year too. So uh, it's a celebration in our home. But um, listen, man, it's a, it's a few codes that I live by, bro. I don't know what it is. It's like, take for instance, this video is titled 11 things to never type in Google Translate. So <laughs> I, I, I'm not too familiar with the whole Google Translate, but certain things I don't like to type or, or look up or research because I figure, I feel it triggers certain things for you to now be watched and investigated and looked at like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that. So it's certain things I won't type into Google. I won't look up. Um, it's certain things I won't say on the phone, like send through text messages, because I feel like we're all in a, in some type of a database. Listen, listen, this is, this is, you, <laughs> you want to know, I'm going to tell you, this is how crazy and deranged my mind thinks, but I'm not, I don't believe I'm so far fetched. Um, yeah, man, I think I feel as though we're all in this big data bank. And as soon as we type or say something and pretty soon i think it's it's gonna be soon as we think something we're then gonna be singled out and for the next however many days we're gonna be watched to see what our movements are what are we doing what are we looking up what are we shopping for what are we what are we buying what are we looking at what are we viewing what are we you know what i'm saying i just think that's how it goes or eventually how how it's gonna get to you know what i'm saying that's just i i I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it's a lot of these videos I watch. Maybe it's a lot of the things, but it's certain things I won't say on the phone. Certain things I won't text message. It's things I won't look up. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can't change. Nope. 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 But anyway, we're going to check out this video. 11 things to never type into Google Translate. All right. If you're new to the channel, the subscribe button, join the fam. Let's go. Google Translate is a very handy tool. When it comes to translating a language we don't understand, say Chinese, we can easily type in those foreign words and see what they mean in English. But aside from being useful, there's something strange about this service. Hold on, y'all. I ain't got my, my thing propped up. Let me prop this up real quick. So it's not like I'm just looking down. Normally I have it. Because I'm using my laptop today, not my desktop. So let me make sure I got it. So, yeah, so I'm not looking down like that. All right, my bad, here we go. For example, if you type in these words into the program, you'll get a response that's quite unusual. This, without a doubt, is pretty creepy. That said, here are 11 things you shouldn't type into Google Translate if you don't want to be creeped out. See, I would never type that right there. Or they say, kill your, no, I would never type that into something. Are you Satan? Typing this in may seem strange to those who have no idea about this odd phenomenon or glitch going on with Google Translate. If you type in these words with spaces in between while setting the language to Somali, you'll get a response that's pretty chilling. Now, you may be asking, what exactly does... Are you Satan? Response, come and watch or translation come and watch that don't freak you out bro <laughs> i'd be looking around trying to see who watching me what does this mean some may see this as something arbitrary whereas others may see this as something meaningful come and watch could mean anything but if you're thinking like most people this could be an implicit response to the question that was asked 
In other words, this response is stating that it is in fact Satan and is telling the person to see for him or herself. Whether or not this response was randomly generated by Google's algorithm, the response is nonetheless very spooky. Are you capable of killing someone today? Of course, typing this in makes no sense, and you would expect the response that's given to have no meaning as well. However, this isn't the case with Google Translate. As stated before, typing in the sentence with spaces in between will give you a creepy response. insurance policy see 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 man <laughs> no, see no this ain't coincidence this ain't anomaly no 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 this is significant this mean something no 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 I, you can't convince me otherwise do you have a life insurance policy what makes this creepy is the logical response that's generated by google had google translate said something else like something random this wouldn't be so creepy but the fact that it responded with an answer that any human would say makes this odd and very unsettling. It makes you wonder if you're actually talking to a person or a bot that's pretty advanced. Regardless of which of the two it might be, the given response is very strange. How do I sell my soul to Satan? This isn't something you would ask unless you were really thinking about selling it. Now, it's worth mentioning that most of these responses are translated from sentences that are thought to be Somali. Of course, these words aren't Somali, but the fact that Google gives an unusual response under the specific language is strange. Why Somali and not any other language? If you do a bit of research, you'll find that Somali is not a language that's spoken by most of the world's population. With this in mind, it makes you wonder why this service will only translate words under a language not spoken by many. Perhaps this is something intentionally done by the engineers at Google. This may be the case considering that Google has other Easter eggs found within their other online services. Who knows, it would be much better knowing that it's a person that's playing around with us instead of an AI bot that's giving morbid responses. Are you a murderer or not? Doubtless, you would never ask this question to a stranger since it's something you wouldn't say to someone you meet for the first time. It would make you come off as weird and just creepy. But since you're only asking a program, why not? There's no way that a program can answer this since it's nothing more than just lines of code. Well, you'll be surprised by the response that's given. I want to know who's, who, who's the first person to find some of this stuff. Like, that's what we need to figure out. It's a great way to start your own business is something you would definitely not expect. No one would say such a thing, which makes this response very odd. Such responses by Google Translate makes this program even more mysterious. Are you a criminal? Obviously, this is something you would never ask a stranger, especially a convict. But as stated before, you're only asking a program. So it wouldn't hurt to ask, right? Well, it wouldn't hurt but it would most likely leave you feeling unsettled after seeing the response that's given. Do you have a problem is something a criminal would say. Again, Google's logical responses is what makes this scary. Had it said something along the lines of no, maybe, or yes, then it wouldn't be so creepy. But an intelligent response like this is just weird. Perhaps there's someone that's actually playing around with us. Who knows? Hopefully it's not some machine learning bot that's learned most of the world's negative responses. Dog. Unlike the previous sentences, this one isn't a question. Rather, this is just a sentence containing the word dog 17 times. Now, how can this program respond to something that isn't a question? 
And you're probably thinking that its response might be as random as this sentence. Well, it's actually quite the contrary. Typing in dog 17 times will give you this. Doomsday clock is three minutes at 12. We are experiencing characters and dramatic developments in the world, which indicate that we are approaching the end of times and Jesus' return. Yeah, I'm starting to think like him too. Like maybe the people who are the, the programmers, maybe they're doing something or, or have some way to where you type certain things that triggers these types of responses, bro. Who knew that typing in the same word over and over would generate a prophecy? Apparently, some believe that this is God's way of communicating with the modern world, considering that dog is an anagram for God and that the number 17 has some meaning. According to some religious sources, the number 17 symbolizes overcoming the enemy, which probably means that God is overcoming the enemy or sins of the world by wiping out humanity on a day known as Doomsday. Again, this is all just a theory, so nothing is for sure. However, Google's response is just unexplainable, which makes this very mysterious. Do you want to kill me tonight? As you might have noticed, there's a slew of things you can ask Google Translate. Because of the given responses, there's a subreddit known as TranslateGate, in which is dedicated to posting some of the strange messages that are generated. Among the things that are posted on the subreddit is the question, do you want to kill me tonight? To which Google responds, do not hesitate to contact me. Although being very strange, there has to be some logical reason for giving such responses like this one. <laughs> now you want to be logical. Oh, there's a logical response. No, bro. No, it is not. No, it is not. There's no way that the program's algorithm is generating these words out of thin air. Doubtless, further investigation needs to be done. Like, I'm starting to feel bad for watching this video. Like, like I want to clear my... Uh, uh, <laughs> Clear my laptop of all of this, any history of this, even though that ain't gonna help. Are you in danger? The fact that you have to write these sentences in a cryptic way makes no sense. But doing so makes it seem like you're trying to communicate with someone that's in danger. It's like trying to talk to someone that's being held hostage at Google. And further adding to this thought is a response given by Google Translate. It's too late. A simple response that leaves you feeling creeped out. Again, there has to be an explanation for this. Now, there's this theory floating around that Google is pulling information from its other services like Gmail and Google Docs to construct its responses in Google Translate. If this is the case, or whoever they're outsourcing to program, that, that, can, that can be the thing too. It could be something not even related to Google. I mean, it's related because they're outsourcing, but nothing that they could control, they didn't know what was going on. It was out of their control. Then this is definitely a huge problem. The responses we're seeing may be coming from email messages or other private documents from Google's database. This, of course, would be a breach of privacy. Doubtless, this is a much more scary theory. Are you watching me? Personally, this is something I wouldn't want to know since knowing would put me on edge and have me looking over my shoulder every few seconds. But if you'd like to know, then by all means, go ahead. Just know that Google's response may leave you feeling a bit unsettled. Not what I was expecting, but still weird nonetheless, but not what I was expecting. That, that doesn't really, if it would have been like, why you asked or turn around or wouldn't you like to know or you know what I mean responses like that then I'd have been like a little uneasy but I love you so much eh, I really didn't I love you so much is equivalent to saying I want you which is what a stalker would say of course it's only now when you put it that way I kind of get what he's saying <laughs> I kind of get what he's saying now I wasn't even really thinking of it like that but when he put it like that oh, okay back to being freaked out now I'm weird in this context had the question been something else, perhaps not involving you, the person typing this in, 
and the answer the same, then it wouldn't be so creepy. Are you going to hurt me? Most of these questions seem to be begging for an answer that will make us feel uneasy. This further adds to the theory mentioned earlier. This all may be intentional as Google is known for having other so-called Easter eggs found in services such as Google Maps and Google Docs. But what sets this apart from those are the creepy responses that are generated, some of which are a little dark. For example, take this question which is followed by a response similar to the other chilling responses that are given. no way you can tell me that this is just randomly glitching like that no 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 way no way come on and take me to your house that's that's not random bro that's not random <laughs> who knew that google ai could be so creepy ET. It's very clear that you can generate lots of responses, most of which are creepy from Google Translate. Some of the things that are typed in don't even have to make sense. Take ET, which if you type over and over, you'll get a response that's just weird. There's so many responses you can get from the service. So that being said, it'd be interesting to see what responses you guys get from the program. Thanks for watching. If you got any weird responses from Google Translate, let me know in the comments below. That's I've never really used Google Translate before, and I don't think I'm going to start today. Kind of ruined it for me. <laughs> if I ever have a gig that I may have to use Google, it's Google Translate for, it's going to take me a while to get past this right here before I can really... Everything I'm typing, I'm going to be... You know what I'm saying? Paying attention to scrutinizing, having it under a microscope, trying to make sure there's no hidden message. Or what if that was somebody at the other end that was leaving those messages so you could contact police or something like that for help? You know what I mean? Or the more obvious case, them leaving that for you to find and then draw you in to someday murder you. You know what I'm saying? That be the icebreaker to draw you in, get you curious, lead you down this dark path of the web, ultimately gain your information, possibly gain your trust, and then ultimately kill you. That's scary. That is scary. But with all the unsolved and solved cases we've we've come across here lately does it seem far-fetched um i don't think so not for me at least so y'all get at me in the comment section man 11 things to never type into google translate um i would stay away altogether i am y'all get at me let me know what y'all thought of this was this creepy and crazy i think it was so stick around for more creepy and crazy. Till the next reaction, I'm out. Peace.